got our, our first ever schmooze brother-sister pairing. Uh, yes, that's right. We're going family style. Uh, we've got we've got Ellie Klein and Sarah Klein Eisen, K Eisen. The K stands for Klein, that's right. And they are Baltimore natives. So if you have any questions about this town or uh, who you should root for and sports teams and things, don't ask me. Um, ask them. And they are they grew up here in Baltimore. Sarah is a blogger, Sarah is a blogger and journalist and high, high tech content consultant. And she's here serving as the Jewish Agency's global marketing content manager. So she's been a little busy this particular GA. Um, Ali Klein, also known as Israel's Donut Guy, and you can talk to him about what that means later. Uh, he's a blogger, a social media fiend, and a nonprofit public relations specialist working for Jerusalem based Finn Partners Israel. So I wanted to welcome the brother sister from Baltimore, the Klein, Klein, Eisen, Eisen Klein. The funny thing about this picture is it appears as if I used to be older than my brother. We now both live in Israel, and once upon a, Israel is the cultural Jewish bastion for everybody, but that is not true, that did not extend for secular or general culture, even though we see Zion, oh, you want to talk about this slide? So even though we are the, uh, the bastion of Jewish culture, we are always takers. When I first moved to Israel almost 20 years ago, we used to get our culture by having my parents send us tapes of Seinfeld and The Simpsons. That's a true story. There was almost no internet unless you were a student. Then you had an email address. That was a million years ago. And we waited. We waited for those tapes that would arrive in the post office. And when people told me that I reminded them of Elaine, I didn't know what they meant, like until five years later. And then. All of a sudden, everything clicked in Israel. And things stopped being out of sync and stopped being in sync. And slowly, tiny little Israel became the R&D center of the world, with big companies like Intel, Google, Microsoft, Cisco, IBM, and SanDisk, all opening their doors in Israel. And in fact, it was where all of these technologies began. Everything from the technology and culture behind sharing your stuff with those little thumb drives, to airport security, to windows, to making sure that your phone didn't look like Zach Morris's phone, tiny little phones originated in Israel. And of course, the Ewok system, allowing things that we never thought possible, making people who are paralyzed walk, and giving content to the television show Glee. One second, please. More? And then there was the advent of social media. Now, as far as Olim, all of us who moved to Israel, we jumped on the social media bandwagon because of we had a serious FOMO. We wanted to make sure we didn't miss out. But as we all know, social media is about influencers. Two different kinds that lead to discussions. There are powerhouses, powerhouses like our own Esther K, our own The Daroff and Mr. Benji Lovett. But there are also people who lead the discussions in cliques, people who start really interesting conversations. And believe it or not, a large majority of them are from Israel. Or now from Israel. Or are now from Israel. But let's just call them Israelis anyway. We lead the conversations. And as far as the work week goes, we have no Sundays. We're always going to be six or seven hours ahead. So we get the information first and we mold the stories. We lead the conversations. We tell you what the news is first. And then all of a sudden, things became in sync. We got cable, which was awesome. And we get all the good TV shows, too. But more important than getting all the good content from you guys and from other places in the world is we became exporters as well. 
Every year we have Oscar-nominated films. We have real culture. We're the ones who developed the screenplays. We're the ones who developed all of these TV shows. They came from us first, and we feed it to the world. And it's a source of pride that finally we're giving back not only in technology, but in culture as well. And of course, we're still kicking butt with life-changing, uh, life-altering uh, different kinds of technologies, including, of course, Better Place. So whereas it used to be the Hollywood model of there being moguls and everything filtering down from a top source, culture became grassroots, coming from us and going out that way. That's the Israel model. Lean in, all the way. There's a slide almost there. And that's a shameless plug. <laughs> um, so you all are part of what the Jewish agency calls the global Jewish family. And the culture comes from all of us together. Via Ellie's influencers. Ellie gave me too long on this slide. I have nothing else to say. Shameless plug. <laughs> yeah, hilarious. So that was our uh, Donnie and Marie impression. Uh, we do hope that you enjoy Balmer. Um, believe it or not, that picture was 30 years ago. And uh, we do hope that you all join the GA and us in Israel next year.